Before we do that, let's just check the foreman's computer, shall we? Foreman's log. We are still recovering from the collapse. The full death toll is unknown at the moment, but currently there are 13 confirmed dead. I'll be consulting with the head geologist about how best to move forward with this unfortunate incident. While drilling, we seem to have stumbled across upon a nest of some sort. We aren't certain of the species of creature it belonged to, but it seems to be deserted now. We will continue drilling once we know for certain that the nest has been abandoned. Okay, let's face it, it was not abandoned. So what have they dug up? Right, let's get down there and see what horror is awaiting us. Okay. I'm assuming... Giant alien beasties was going to be my assumption, but apparently nothing. Iron. Ah, giant alien beasties. They're not that giant, I suppose. Okay. I'm hearing a terminal. I'm hearing a terminal. One of the terminals we've unlocked is in a lab. Head Geologist Log. I've spoken with Foreman Shulman regarding the unfortunate collapse that occurred. He was recommending that we evacuate the rest of the mine in case of a total cave-in. To assuage his fears, I scanned the surrounding areas of the mine in an effort to prove its stability. What I found was quite encouraging. Continued drilling should pose no danger of a collapse. Although the veins we've been mining for some time are currently trapped beyond the collapsed area, I believe there is a solution. We can dig around the collapse and circle our way back to those veins. I'm confident this co course of action will be satisfactory for Mr. Shulman. Yeah... I'm not. Okay. Everybody got that? Oh. Okay, I've got a feeling something's cut. No, don't, don't. Why, why would you jump down? Why would you jump down? Why would you do that? Come back up. Come back up. We're still trying to find evidence and stuff, yeah? So what is wrong with you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Coming the sensible way. All right. Oh, well, thank you for that, Barrett. Fine. Shall we just go monster hunting before we go evidence hunting? Just. We'll do both. Is that acceptable? We can do both. I want to find terminals. I want to find notepads and other. Okay, see, see, see. Nickel. Mine H363, Irvin Madani, visiting expert in xenobiology. This account is deactivated. Archived memos. Experiment results. Irvin, they're not going to like what I have to say. Dr. Helgi Hoaxen. Apex predators. Irvin, I've included your analysis in my papers, which I've sent to the main office. Thanks for, Thank you for helping me collect and analyze the data. I sincerely hope this makes a difference. Dr. Helgi Haugsen. Am I reading these in the wrong order? Yes, I am. Of course I am. Sent. Poisoned planet. 
This data tells a troubling story. Could the microbial colony network be poisoned by the chemicals from these mines? Could this cause a global collapse? Okay, so the chemicals from this mine could actually damage the microbial colony network? Could this be why? It was the destruction of the bacterial colonies, not the apex predators. So, they ruined the ecosystem here, and it had nothing to do with Irvin. This is it. This is what Ellie needs to see. Right. Probably. Isn't there at least one more terminal we were supposed to find? This one we found. This one we found. Head geologist. Isn't that... Isn't that HH? No, this doesn't sound like HH. Okay. And... Might as well take those. Varun Star Shard. Another one. Let's take it. All right. Anyway, I'm thinking we just continue on a little bit. I want to... Whoa. First of all, I want to make sure we haven't missed anything. Second of all, as much as I worry about further damaging the ecosystem... It was very rushed. I'm... I really would like to find out what we've damaged. Is this why all of these critters have come here? They're, are they, is this like a defense system? Like, almost like the ecosystem trying to balance itself out. It's not quite how it works, actually. But angry adult pet, whoa, okay. You know, lead. Okay. You know what? Yeah. But this is the cavern, right? Wasn't there another... Oh, no, we've still got more evidence to find. Yeah, I was going to say, we've got another... we got another terminal somewhere. Definitely want to get all the evidence. We don't want to miss anything. Wow, this place is... Focus. Okay. Queen! We got a queen? Is this the best weapon? I think this one does more damage against aliens. Okay, I guess this is what they uncovered. Let me just... I just want to check my weapons. Is this... This is plus 30% damage against aliens. So, yeah, this is definitely... What are we... Questions? No? Good. Bad choice. Another one. Okay, they're definitely jump. Oh, we got multiple. Uh, okay. I need a rifle version of this, I think. You are or, ready for this. I don't know, I a am. large minigun version of it? I think it's safe to say very little seems right around here. Okay. Don't think we're heading towards... Creepy crawlies that are attempting to murder us.
Okay. What is all this? Is this... Is this going to be important? I feel like this is going to be important. There is an entire... What am I hearing? Palladium. There is an entire... ecosystem down here. Those look horribly like eggs. They very much look like... Oh, yeah. I'm thinking... GTFO? What, what do you think? Or, or... GTFO exclamation mark. Definitely thinking... Oh, I want the Palladium. I don't even know what I need it for. I just know it's rare. You know what? We've been messing with the ecology here enough, just obliterating all these life forms. Let's. One of those things move in after the face is left. These things chase them out. I just have a feeling that this is what they uncovered, don't you? Platinum. God, this place has got a lot of... I'll tell you what. Damn, they got a lot of... I'm just semi-expecting us to be cutting through here and all of a sudden... You know, lots of things pop out of those eggs and come scurrying at us and attempt to hug our faces. Yes, you could accuse me of having an overactive imagination, if you wish. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Lead-lined, refined, pirate raiding pack. Epic. Uh, is it any... You know what, let's just... I don't think it's that good. Okay. Helgi Haugsen's... Right. Senior biologist studies. Study eco which one? Alright, let's read it read it in reverse order, I think. Apex predator species. First of June. Summary. If a local queen, Gyna, in the regional hive of hive of Apex Predator dies, one of the drones is promoted to Queen by consuming the remains of the previous queen. The process of promotion takes several months. Okay, so. If I'd just killed the queen but left one of them alive... Oh, man, there's all these little eggs. Can we destroy the eggs? Should we destroy the eggs? Report sent to main office. Microbial colonies. 1st of July. Right, we're reading them in the right order. Summary. Below the surface of Gagarin exists a vast microbial colony network that spans much of the planet. These colonies contain many species of microbes working together to convert dust and organic material into soil. Without these colonies, Gagarin's entire ecosystem would be devastated. Full report sent to main office. Main office ignored this. Kept mining. Apex predator reproduction. Summary. The ape... Apex predator species is an important component of Gagarin's ecosystem. Now I feel bad about wiping them out. The species is eusocial and has a strict caste structure with drones, defenders, and a primary reproductive gyne or queen. The gyne of each region produces irregularly, and waste produced by the nesting process is used exclusively by the soil microbes to form massive colonies below the surface. Okay, well, let's leave the eggs and hopefully they will hatch, eat the queen uh, once we've left and not be part of this grand ecosystem collapse. Conclusion. Biochemical analysis of subsurface bacteria colonies reveals near total collapse caused by the gases released by the mining processes. Killing apex predators devastates a local colony temporarily, but they can rebound. It's good to know. The chemicals released from the mines, however, are 95% respons responsible for the collapse of the ecosystem. My full report, including data, methodology, and analysis, will be sent directly to the main office. 
along with my resignation. Due to witnessing numerous ethics violations at Hephaestus, I quit. This is my 180th report about the severity of the situation. What Hephaestus is doing in these mines will cause the biome to become unstable in the short term and it will ruin our environment permanently in the long run. Read my studies if this is unclear. If anyone reads this at all, what a waste. Can we find Seems this like person? Try to do the right thing here. Yeah. I'm sure Ellie would want to see this. He's citing numerous ethics violations dating back to before Irvin's time. And Hephaestus just ignored him. Oh, yeah. Well, there it is. They hired Dr. Hawkson to study the gases and how it related to the mineral extraction process. Standard studies. But he discovered that the extraction process was damaging the ecosystem. Irvin's mentioned here. But his impact on that is clearly unrelated. Okay. Uh, is this everything? Right, the company had a motive. These documents show that. Exactly. This is... Uh, this is undeniable. The ecosystem was suffering long before Irvin arrived. Yup. Okay. You got a copy of this data, right? Good work. No, good work, detective. Let's get out of here. This place creeps me out now. Oh, no, I wanted to chat about some of the other... St okay, never mind. Guess I didn't. All right. That's where we're going. Just before we head out, I just... Just in case. Copper. Palladium. More pests. Oh. oh we... Okay, I was going to say we don't... All right, let's... Was there anything else? I don't. There's one over there. Encore. All right, let's not let's not wipe them out. Let's not wipe them out. Let's get out of here. Barrett, we're getting out. Barrett, the plan is not to wipe out. Oh, I was only checking just in case there was something else. Could you stop shooting at them? One of them's destined to become a queen. Oh, for God's sake. Right, okay, my bad for coming in this direction, I guess. Alright, can we go now? Can we go now, or are you gonna keep shooting? I'm leaving! I'm 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 absolutely leaving. I'm not. If they decide to hug your face and make sweet, sweet love to it, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm not coming back. I'm totally leaving you to your fate. Oh crap. Oh, We've got plenty of things to murder over here if you really want to murder things. Leave one or two. But where the hell is he? No! Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're leaving. We're leaving. We are all about the leaving. Okay, so there are more in our way. Where are they coming from? Oh, they're hatching, aren't they? All right. Yeah. So much for my plan to get out of here without doing any more damage. They're between us and the exit anyway. Okay, we don't have a lot of choice, so fine, I guess. All right. Well, aren't we just uh, yes. the embodiment sort of, internal of humanity? Are you getting all sciencey on me back there? We're adding to the ecological collapse here. Science me that one. Did we come this way? What the hell was that sound? All right, let's just keep going. Oh, right, we're back at the structure. Hopefully there will be no more to brutally murder, yeah? So what do you bet? We fly to the other side of the planet just in time to catch the darkness there too, hmm? 
It's gonna be our luck, right? Of course it is. You are entering well, United Colony space. Alright. Yeah, thank you. The feist is mine. No, that's and not we're working. Done. Feel free to land. Thank you. Will do. Do you know what time it is down there? Probably night. Yep, 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 yep. Of course it is. Right, let's go and see Ellie. That is a very square ship. Definitely a lot of people who seem to just like very square. I mean, our ship's sort of square-ish. It's boxier than I, I want. This story about a kid who was walking and he fell through the catwalks. Yeah, you, you've told me that one before, kid. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking we should try and make the, the hopper a little sleeker. I don't know, maybe just work on it a little when we got time, which will probably be never. That's the Vanguard office. All right. Let's. Ellie. Hello. Welcome back, detectives. Hey. Ellie, I sent you all the data from the mine already. As I'm sure you know. Do we sit for this yes, one then? I've been reviewing it. Sit down. Let's have yep. a chat about it. Let's let's do as the lady says. All right. Okay. Welcome back, you two. How was the trip to the mine? You're gonna love this, Ellie. Fun. Okay, uh, these documents- No, no, no! You tell about it. It's your case. Okay, someone better tell me. Come on. <laughs> we found the coordinates to Irvin's old work site and went there. Huge battle. Fire, explosions. Okay, maybe <laughs> I should- <laughs> Tell her. Barrett! Please. You should have seen the plants in there, too. Weird stuff. Anyway, you read over the documents we found there, right? What do you think? What you both found in that mine is remarkable. These documents show that the chemicals released by the mining process contaminated the ecology even before Irvin was tasked with removing the predators. And they also show that Helgi informed Hephaestus of the issue and it was repeatedly ignored. And with that, I think we've got ourselves a case, my friends. Yes! Isn't that That's a bit of a slam dunk hear, case? Ooh. Okay. Yes, but it's still likely to lose. Because what dump. we really need now is Helgi as our witness, and that is a problem. Uh, mm, why, 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 why is that a problem? Why? Helgi isn't an ideal witness at all. <sighs> he was our star witness the first time, and he never showed up. Plus, he's got a reputation around town. After he quit, he went a bit weird. Well, I can handle a bit weird. I was going to say, I know we are a bit weird. Too. Clearly. <laughs> but the judge might feel differently. Okay. It might be worth finding some character witnesses, too, while you're looking for him. Okay. Oh, I suppose that's understandable. All right, fine, fine. Yes, yes. I'm glad you're taking it in stride. Oh, that's it's just, what I do. For a case with this much science, we need the man who wrote the claims to back them up. Maybe even explain it in layman's terms. Okay. Where can we find... Can we go to court without Helgi? Should we just go with no? Where can we find him? That's also a bit tricky. He's hard to find. Doesn't really stay in one place for long. And we can't go to court without him, I'm guessing. We could, but I think we'd lose the case, bluntly. We can verify these documents are real, but Hephaestus can counter by attacking Helgi's character. They'll label him a disgruntled employee and then find a dozen independent scientists to confirm Irvin was at fault. But with Helgi in court, mm. he can explain the science and help me challenge any countering theories during cross-examination. The thing is, is they could say, oh, he's a disgruntled employee, but he submitted these documents before the event happened, predicting it. They're just going to say he was disgruntled back then, predicted it, and then, oh, through a sheer show, stroke of luck, Irvin came along and caused the catastrophe he was predicting. Do they think it's a conspiracy? Never mind, don't answer that. They'll, that's exactly what they'll claim. Um, Gagarin isn't huge. We'll look around. You might ask Dr. Keala. 
She checks up on folks who fall through the cracks sometimes. Kiana, I think of You'd Matt. have to convince her to tell you where he is. That might be hard. I am. Sounds like we're making a stop at the med clinic. Very convincing. We'll be back when we convince Helgi to be a witness. Listen, and get some... if he refuses, then he refuses. Can't force him. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to press him too hard. The last thing we need is him refuting what he wrote. This is going to take a light touch, but I think we can handle it. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Find a potential character witness. <sighs> Who are we going to find as a character witness? Hmm? All right. Maybe the doc. Could be. Possibly. All right. Oh, I really would like some sunlight. So where was the... Yeah, it was over here. It was on the other side of the road. Road. I'm going to become a famous bounty hunter, just like the Mantis. Would you like the outfit? Don't encourage kids to do stupid things like that. Hello! Do you need medical assistance? Are you injured? Not exactly. Is there something I can help you two with? Do you happen to know Dr. Oh, Helgi Hodson? Precog. We're trying to get his help with something. I should have Sorry, who are you exactly? We're detectives. Self-taught and unaffiliated. Freelance detectives. Just tell her the with truth. With the emphasis on the free part. Wait, what? Detectives? Uh, sorry, I don't think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get that a lot. Um, do you treat a lot of mine workers? Just... I treat anyone who walks in my doors, if I'm able to. Okay. Um... Look, does the name Irvin Madani sound familiar? I say we level with her. Uh, no, not really. Oh. I mean, there's Irvin the Slaughterer and Irvin the Scourge of Gagarin, but I doubt that's the same person, right? The oh my god, really? Okay, look, we're looking for someone named Helgi. I'm sorry, I'm not a tour guide. You'll have to ask somebody else. We're trying to help him. And Gagarin, actually. This is true. Um, did did Helgi ever talk about working for Hephaestus? We're walking with working with Ellie Yankton on a court case. It's for a good cause. Should we should we tell? I don't know. Let's find out if Helgi ever talked about working for Hephaestus. <laughs> Only every single time I see him. At least we know but she listen, knows. But listen, I don't have time to chat. Okay, look, we're working on we're working with Ellie Yankton on a court case. It's for a good cause. Ellie's a good person. That bodes well, but I can't violate my oaths. I'm sorry. Okay, right, Listen, of course. I can say that Helgi took up a job working at Clint's store just down the way. Okay. I saw him there stacking boxes the last time I picked up an order. I've got to get back to my work here, so if there's nothing else... Oh. Do you like being a doctor? Would you vouch for Helgi's character? If it's patient medical records you're after, I'll remind you. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. No, no, no. Um, we just want you to say nice things about him. No, only as it pertains to... Look, no, we, we want you to talk about his co um, like his mental state as it pertains to his coherence at trial. We're thinking of taking Hephaestus to court with Dr. Hawkson as a witness. Now, given his situation, we're worried the defense might um, cast aspersions on his character, even question his mental health. That's unfortunate, but not surprising. <sighs> Look, if he agrees to testify and grants me permission, I could vouch for his well-being. Okay, Thanks, excellent. Doc. If he does end up testifying, we'll definitely need you for the trial. Ellie Yankton will be in touch. No promises, given patient confidentiality, but I'll do my best. All right. Okay. You know what? That's, for now, that's that's. I need to get back oh. to my work now, if you don't mind. Yeah. Resist urge to make snarky comment about there not being any work. She sat there with a crossed arms. Okay. You know what though? She was helpful, so we like her. Right. We have now got to talk to Clint. Finally starting about to cool off. Helgi. Was this Clint? Security's usually good about keeping out strays, but keep your eyes open at night for dust devils and prong wings, okay? Will do, thank you very much. Taking in uh, the collection? Quite a sight, eh? 
Absolutely amazing sight. Hi. May not look like much, but there are some quality pieces in here. Just got to find them. All right. Do you know anyone named Helgi? We're trying to find him. Funny you ask, because I'd like to know too. He owes me a sizable debt. Okay. How much does he owe you? Enough that he's no longer allowed in my store. Okay. I don't like denying service to anyone, but it's the principle of the matter. When did you see him last? I've seen him around, but never in one place, except when he needs money. I offered him a job, but he showed up to work drunk one day and I had to let him go. I don't have any ill will toward him. Sure, the credits I'd like to have back, but only because it'll mean he's gotten his life together. All right, so it's not about the money then. Well, look, we're hoping to get in to be a witness in a case that's really important. Yeah, I don't want to be mixed up with anything like that. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's... You don't seem to understand. We need the information really badly. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. Look, okay, I, I didn't mean to push so hard. I just really need the information. I really do. Well... Maybe. Okay. Yeah, look, I just need the information. Nothing will ever connect back to you. No, I oh. can't. All right, Sorry. fine, fine. Sorry, that's your business, not mine. Can I asking delete so? In security. Okay. I had an incident with Helgi the other day, and security brought us both in for questioning. Okay. Would you vouch for Helgi's character? Is this a good idea? Probably not. You sure you got the right person? Helgi and I have had several run-ins in the past. <sighs> I'm sure it's all water under the bridge. Um, okay. <sighs> yeah, you know what? You're right. I'll find someone yeah. else. Thank you. And while you're here, maybe see about buying something, eh? I mean, he doesn't seem to bear him any ill will, but he's definitely going to mention the fact that he turned up to work drunk, isn't he? Probably not. Right, we need to find this Dalitzo. Okay. And Our where? Our squad came through here the other day. Said they're cleaning out any heat leeches. Public safety concern. I think I missed something. That's the understatement of the galaxy, my friend. Really is. It. Hey! He Zineda know that if she no. steals too many of my people, I'm drafting her antique tail for security duty, okay? Okay. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, nothing, sorry, I came to the wrong place. I'm looking for... Delitzo, who... Oh! I keep thinking of you as Chief Pretorius. Excuse me. First name basis, I suppose. Okay, hi. Something you want to report? Okay. Do you know someone called Helgi? Really trying to find him. If you need to file a report on him, please use the computer there. How long would that take? Five to ten business days. Now please, move on. Okay. If I tell you I'm working with Ellie Yankton, would that help? I'm working with Ellie Yankton. Good. She could use their help. She would agree that following procedure by filing their report is your best option, legally. Hey, an idea. Quick huddle. Okay, uh, excuse okay. Excuse us, folks. Important detective business here. What, 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 what? I was gonna... Go on. Okay, I got an idea. That terminal probably has reports on persons of interest. Got it. If you don't mind distracting the chief for a while, I can dig into the system and see if there's any clues. Uh, you provide the distraction, I'm better with terminals? It's kind of true. You could be the distracting one. You are very distracting. Just come up with one of your stories, yeah? Sounds like a plan. I'll talk to the chief. You file the report. R yes, I will file the report. I mean, she told me to go and file a report anyway. I'm guessing it's here. Yes. Are you distracting? I'm going to assume you're being distracting. Security. 
All right, for use, file report. Mm. To file a report, provide a detailed description of the events in question, including the contact information on any witnesses of any witnesses or parties involved in the incident. Will you receive a res You will receive a response in five to ten days. If you do not receive a response in that time, please contact someone at the UC security office. Okay. Please tell me he's distracting. Okay. So... This one seems simple enough. All right. Okay. I know. You know what? Just... I want to get all the information. Hauksen Helge. Okay. Um, dr drunk and disorderly. Location, Gagarin Underbelly. Resident was found drunk, throwing garbage at a building for nearly three hours. Had to drag him back to his apartment down in the lower levels. Citation was given for drunk and disorderly. Okay, drunk and... This is not good. Clint. Okay. Charge assault? Chased Helgi Hauksen out of his store while waving a broom. Security of the scene witnessed the incident and filled the report as a precaution, but further investigation revealed no assault took place. Okay, so probably not a good idea to have him. Do I even know any of these? No. No. Okay, so, so definitely those two, bad blood. Even though he said there wasn't, let's not even think about trying to get him so as a witness. I really don't think I'll be holding on to the property for long. If you know anyone who's interested... Oh, good idea. I don't know anyone offhand, but I'll put their word out. Thanks. It's a pretty good property, all things considered. Just no windows. Okay. Got it. Got it. So, were you able to find anything? Maybe we should do this somewhere else. Yeah, he lives down in the lower levels. He must have fallen on hard times. Not surprising, given all that he's had to endure. Let's hope he's in the mood to talk. Okay. Yes, let's see. Okay. Okay, why don't you come down to the station? Get in front of a sketch artist. Sunlight. Look. Sunlight. We're going down to the lower levels, aren't we? We're going down to the lower levels where sunlight probably rarely ever... With all the factories around here, well, we're not hurting for business. Watch That's good. To take a sudden trip around here. Yeah, thanks for Have the you advice. Ever been a pirate? Were you yes. scared? No. I wouldn't be. Good girl. Oh, I don't want to go down in the dark. I want to stay up in the light a little bit. Just, just for a little, little while longer. <sighs> okay, fine, 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 fine. Right, we gotta go down. <sighs> Why don't we just, you know, go and live in the center of some planet or something, like in one of those old sci-fi. Want to be left alone. Understand? Yeah, but then you're just gonna cease to exist at a certain point, aren't you? All right. Yeah. Okay. Are we in the right? Okay. Sorry. Did not see you there. Hi. I don't suppose you're here to tell me I've won a ticket to a new planet, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. Not today. We came to Gagarin to investigate Irvin Mandani's contract with the mining company a long time ago. Ring any bells? Irvin, yeah. Biologist. Hunter. Yeah, I remember him. Why? Who are you people? Okay. Yeah, you clearly need help. Maybe we can work something out. Let's just... Look, we just want to... We want to discuss something you two worked on. Then find the history slate. An ancient history slate. Because that's what it is. Please. Irvin was once one of your colleagues. He was the one who faced this blame for an ecological disaster about 20 years ago. Do you remember any of that? No, I don't remember lies. What? <sighs> okay. 
We've uncovered new evidence and we think, we think we'll make a difference. It's been 20 years. 20. Get out of here. No, no, no. I know this is strange. We show up out of the blue about things that happened decades ago. But right now, nobody save us knows the truth. And that means we're the only ones who can clear Irvin's name. Okay, uh... We know about Hephaestus and how you tried to warn them about the collapse of the ecosystem. We know! We know you warned them! Eh? Uh, and what of it? You probably think the sky is blue too. Well, it looks uh, that way if... be wrong. It's whatever color Hephaestus says it is. Only if you let them. You're a scientist. Your words matter. That's why we need you to testify. Testify? The trial is over. The verdict rendered. In case you two clowns didn't get the memo. Okay, um... Why are you so reluctant to even try? Why? Why? Why are you so reluctant to try? We could clear his name and yours and maybe get some, you know, payback against the people that did this. Because I tried before and they threatened me 20 years ago. I still wake up in fear almost every night. They said if I ever left Gagarin, they... they I left my wife to protect her. She Jeez. didn't deserve any of this. Any of my... mess. <sighs> what do you remember about the case? I remember not to talk with people who come asking questions about powerful corporations. Okay, look, Ellie Yankton's reopened the case, okay? We, we, we're trying to take them down. Ellie? Ellie Yankton? But why? Ah, it doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. Look, we've got new evidence. All we need is for you to testify that it's valid. I can't. I cannot do that. Why is this so hard to understand here? Okay. Oh, we've we got a lot of... T Look, you were a whistleblower once. Clearly you know what the right thing is. What's right has got oh, nothing I to do with it. I suck at this. Oh, auto, 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 uh... This is important. Lives depend on it. Hard to argue with that. Yeah. Okay, are we, are we... All right. Dr. Kayla said you talk about Hephaestus a lot, and clearly this has been bothering you. Yeah, been a thorn in my side, back and foot for 20 years. Maybe it's time I just pull it out. Yeah, good man. There's more at stake here than just Irvin's case. Yeah, you may have a point. <sighs> Fine, you've convinced me. I'd be willing to testify on one condition. I want to know what happened to Irvin. Because when he disappeared, let's just say I had an epiphany. He first just didn't need to say a word. That's when I knew the threats against me and my family were real. Dr. Hawkson? It wasn't Hephaestus that took Irvin's life. It was the war. Irvin was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Caught in the crossfire. Then I am sorry for your loss. It won't change the past for either of us. But I will testify. And maybe, wherever Irvin is, he'll be glad that we can finally stick it to those assholes at Hephaestus. Thank you, Doctor. I'm sure you yeah, would. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me now. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay. Awesome, awesome, brilliant. Thank you very much. 
Whew. Touch and go there for a while, wasn't it? Let's get back to Ellie and give her the good news. Yeah. J uh, oh. Are you... Helgi agreeing to testify is a great help. We might need witnesses to vouch for his character, though. Someone in security, maybe? You think? Okay. Hopefully, this will be enough to clear Odin's mind. You want to talk to someone in security? Do you think that's a good idea? I mean, we've already got the dock. We've already got the dock. We go, we can try security. Let's just get a let's just get a sense. Yeah, let's just dip our toe in where I can't even remember. It was here. Here it was. Yes, right. Hey! Use a little chit chat after the day I've had. Go, oh, yeah, you and me both. If one more corporate exec asks for security escort to their ship, I might just hit someone. Okay, I'll bring a camera and video it. Could be worth a rerun. Uh, would you vouch for Helgi's character? Depends on what we're talking about. What's this for? Okay. It's a good cause. We're taking a mining companies to court. Ooh, would she? It's for a good cause. We're taking the mining companies to court. Another one of Yankton's crusades, huh? Gotta hand it to her. She doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. Well, we're concerned the defense might have an unkind word or two about the doctor doing cross-examination. By doctor, you mean Helgi? Yeah. It's true. We brought him in for a D and D, but he spent half the time apologizing, and even helped clean up the mess the next day. He's all right in my book. And all right. In mind, it's a very big book. It's got the name of every criminal, delinquent, and rule breaker in Gigaren. But you won't find Helgi's name inside. That's good to hear. If we need you, Ellie Yankton will be in touch. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Have her ping my secretary. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Just stay out of trouble. I will. Could there be anyone else we should talk to? What do you think? There's a corporate lady who we did a favor in there, but I don't think she's going to be able to... I mean, she's not likely to be able to... Or or him. You, you don't need... Hi. Can you make it quick? You mm -hmm. know what? Yeah, that was a bad idea. Yeah, it's just just uh, the people that owe me favors, but no. We've got two people who can vouch that he's not a criminal and that he's of a sound mind. And he's agreed to testify. About Earth and school. When I get my own ship, I'm going there. Yeah, well, good for you, although just prepare to be a teeny bit disappointed. Like, there's not really a lot going on there. There is a sort of monument thing. You can try and climb, but I wouldn't recommend it. Get a better boost pack than the one I had. All right. Okay. Elgi's testimony should make this go a lot smoother. Hey! Are we sitting? We're sitting. Let's do, let's do the sitting thing. We're being civilized. Do you have coffee? That would make things way more civilized. All right. Okay, you two. Lay it on me. Did you find Helgi? Did he agree to testify? Well, we've got good news and... Well, that's it. Just more good news. Okay. Does that mean he said yes? Yes! Okay. Uh, Helgi will testify. She's not the best witness, but Dalitso might vouch for his character. Um... Okay, can we provide witness with safe house or armed guard? Actually, this is this is this is a good question. <laughs> what do we look like, New Atlantis? <sighs> no. Okay. All right. Look, Helgi will testify. Doctor Kiala might be a good character witness should he need it. But there's two of them. But we, can we not do both? Okay. Well, let's start with the doctor. Well, that is perfect. She's probably the best person to call on should have faced us decide to play dirty. Well. You two have done all that you could. Now it's time to hand the baton off to me. Okay. What do you think, Ellie? Do we have a chance? The evidence you've gathered is impressive. It truly is. So what's the verdict? 
In this case, I'd say spoilers are appreciated. I almost never say this because I don't want to jinx it, but I think this case is a slam dunk. Huzzah! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Yes! I think we can do everything on our checklist. Clear Irvin of any wrongdoing, charge Hephaestus with the cover-up, and even restore Helgi, uh, Dr. Hawkson's standing in the scientific community. All in all, though, really outstanding work. We wouldn't have gotten this far without your efforts. And I've got to imagine that wherever Irvin is, he appreciates it too. Agreed, Ellie. And thanks for being our anchor in this. Okay. We should probably get out of Ellie's way and let her do her thing. So totally. More in private. Totally, totally, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much, Ellie. Okay. Where do you... Where do you want to talk? You've got something for me. Wow, we actually did it. Solved the case. And hopefully cleared Irvin's name. Yes. I feel like... What's the old saying? A great weight has been lifted off my shoulders? But That's it's an old saying? True. I feel like I'm 80% biomass and 20% aerogel. Okay, you're doing the weird nerdy thing again, but um, we could weigh you to confirm. <laughs> yeah, we could weigh you to confirm. <laughs> ah, come on, let's not ruin the moment. Although, <laughs> we did do a lot of walking. I bet I really am lighter. Okay, um, do you think things, do you think, when do you think we'll get a verdict? Ellie would know better than I, but I doubt it'll be anytime soon. These things tend to involve a lot of red tape. It's a special kind of adhesive that makes you stick to old filing cabinets and manila envelopes. Okay. Do you think things are going to change here on Gagarin? I hope so. It's always a tug of war between the workers and the mining corps. But there's one thing we've got in our favor. There's more of us than there are of them. All it takes is for the people to Hallelujah. realize it. Definitely. It's good we got that out of the way. No, I'm glad you're feeling better and lighter. I'm feeling great. Although I could do with some wine and cheese. Why stop at emotional satisfaction when we can indulge in the culinary too? But if I can be serious for a moment, thank you. I couldn't have done this without your help. Okay. It's no big deal. I didn't... Anything for a friend, mate. Anything. That makes two of us. Three if you count Harvey. And who wouldn't? He's practically family. In fact, Harvey's got a little explorer in him, too. According to this slate I found, turns out that our spiky friend's been all across the galaxy. So we were talking about the plant. We were, th that's a bit of a relief. I wonder if Harvey has a home planet we can visit. Now that's behind you, let's go back to, who is Harvey again? It's the bloody plant. I wonder if Harvey has a home planet we can visit. I doubt it. Harvey's a wanderer. Getting lost is how he finds his way home. Huh, okay. Okay, Harvey's got a long way to go before he's up to our adventuring standards. <laughs> We've been through a lot, haven't we? I had forgotten what it was like to work with someone so closely. Well, yes. We've been through quite a lot. Definitely. On top of everything else we've done together and with Constellation? Yeah, I think so. Investigating Irvin's case with you is something I'll remember forever. I've come to realize that some events, uh, some people, stand out as pillars of my life. Pillars? Yeah, no, some people change us forever. Yes, some of them do. And if we're lucky, they change us for the better. <clears throat> we only get a brief moment in this universe to interact, to feel. To be who we are and experience the range of emotions that our bodies and minds have evolved to comprehend. Okay. That f sounded like... Did you eat something weird? <laughs> Living life to the fullest is a gift. And the definition of that changes for everybody. 
If one is fortunate, you might even notice events and people changing you while it is in motion. Constellation has changed who I am. I don't see your point. All right, you're talking about me. <laughs> Of course he's talking about me. I must be fortunate then. I know I certainly am. I've explored many worlds, and I've worked with Constellation for most of my life. I cherish those memories. But you have changed me as a person forever. I don't want to look back years from now and wonder what if. I need to know what you think about us. Oh. Okay. I value your friendship forever, Barrett. You took the words right out of my mouth. Now, mind if we get back to exploring this beautiful, mysterious universe with me, Captain? Absolutely! Do we have to ask the plant where it wants us to go? Notes on Irvin's plant. Okay, did... Did Barrett give me that? I guess he must have. Okay, notes on Irvin's so plant. The other day, I went on a rescue mission. An asteroid was slated to hit a moon in one of the outer systems, and I wanted to get some genetic samples before they went extinct. Well, I managed to get one. This suspiciously cactus-looking thing here. I didn't know what it was, only that it was beautiful. It's not until I scanned it back home that I realized it wasn't native to the system. The flora was alien. Somehow, a seed had stowed away on someone's ship and managed to plant itself on this unremarkable moon like a rogue dandelion clock dancing through space. And I thought, <laughs> well, isn't that a kindred spirit? This whimsical little cactus is an explorer just like us. To me, what we do at Constellation is always bittersweet. When we explore new worlds, we leave our homes behind. In a way, that's what this plant represents. It's a hello and a goodbye. So, I'm giving this plant to you, Barrett, in hopes that you never lose your sense of adventure and the places you call home. Let it be a celebration of every long goodbye and each new beginning. <laughs> 